What's going on guys? So lately we've been testing a lot of 24 volt batteries, especially the talent cell batteries. And we've noticed that they overcharge to about 28, 29 volts. So one way to fix that is with a buck converter like this. So you have an input, an output. So the N is 25.93 right now. The output is 24.27. Um, we have an on off switch. And we have the constant voltage and current values. To check the current values, I'll show you how to do that really quick and set those. So in here, you'll use this one to change the voltage. So we know these amps max out at 21, but we're gonna just do a flat 24. Turn that counterclockwise just to get us near, near 24. And I went too far, so I'm gonna turn it back just a hair. We're at 24.02. I'm gonna disconnect this amplifier really quick. This part isn't super important on some amps. Uh, just depends on how much power they need. So you need a multimeter with two test leads and the ability to test amps. So I'm gonna take mine, whoop, and I just shorted it out somehow. Well done. Restart. Okay, well, I guess I need to turn my meter on before I do that. All right, turn your meter on before you do that. And we're on DC. I've got it set for eight. Let's go ahead. And we're never gonna see eight. So on these amps, we can set it to about We'll do five, and that should be plenty of power for these. Counterclockwise drops you down. I'll leave it somewhere around there for the video. And then when you're done, just unplug it, and then you can plug your amp, amp in. On this buck converter, get some ferrules connections. It'll make it a lot cleaner. Positive, negative. Turn that off really quick. That is a cool feature of this, is I can just hit a button and turn it off and kill power. And you would put this in line after the switch, the on-off switch. It's got a memory hold feature, so you're fine there. And I can just plug it in. And then I can hit the button and turn it on. And we're good to go. Simple as that, guys. Thanks for watching.